Hey class, here's a quick summation of how to do this project. So you choose your chords, you're in E minor here, you're going to be in G major there. You choose your chords according to these guidelines from the functional map and get them, get them in place and show them to me. Then once they're approved, then you, the next thing would be to choose a drum groove to construct a 16th note based drum groove. And I will show you some different options and you can make up your own. But for example, say you chose this pattern program it into the finale chart or just copy and paste it in. Continue to put it throughout the song. Then once that's all settled, you've made that decision, then you're going to write a groove, a bass groove that goes with the drum part. And the simplest thing to do would be to have the notes are in the exact same rhythm as the kick drum. And now you just have to move them around with the six moves the, them down and seven moves them up and then approach notes after that approach note where we're gonna we're gonna fill it up with a few extra notes to make it a little bit more interesting but this is like a good beginning once you've got your groove sorted out which we'll talk about more in class then you're going to do your melody and the way you're going to do your melody is you're going to choose one of these pre-done uh, motives and then copy them over say i chose um this one just copy that, bring it over, and then I start changing my pitches around to be what I want. So make a melody, and we can talk about ways to make a good melody. So this is obviously, I'm doing this very fast right now. This obviously is going to require a little bit more care. That's the essence of what you're going to be doing. And here's the way this, just this little part of it sounds.